But what are you eating after the workout? Because that's just as important. So Jen, you're hanging out with a guy who's a chef and a personal trainer? Yeah, you need to meet this guy. Good morning to you, chef. Good morning. Trainer, Good chef morning. trainer. Chef trainer. You've been a trainer longer than you've been a chef, right? Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much so, yeah. And this whole cooking thing started because you wanted to give your people better food because they were working out so yeah, hard. Yeah, it actually happened by accident. I had a client who was working 16 hours a day. I had an extra meal left in my health club. And I said, you know what, just take it home. The next day she called me, she's like, could you cook lunch for me for the week? And then it just all, yeah. you know, and bottomed out from there. You have all your inspiring. workout stuff here. You say, though, when it comes to looking good, feeling better, fit-er, not perfect, but er, it's like way more important to eat well than it is to work out. Definitely, without a doubt. 85% okay. of what you look at, look like in the end is going to be what you put into your body. Okay, we're all being good right now because we see we're the trying. calendar. We're, we're trying. trying to keep and you And so tamed. this is our post-workout math. And you say it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. For women, 10 grams of? Protein. Okay. And then a little bit of carbs, And obviously. then a little bit of carbs afterwards, yep. Between okay. 20 and 25 grams would be fine for and that. And that's within 30 minutes? That's within 30 to, 30, 30 to 45 minutes after your workout is complete. You okay. just want that little bit of simple sugar to help transport that protein to your muscle and refuel. For the people who are working out in the morning while watching Good Day Philadelphia, explain <laughs> some of the ideas that you have for like a breakfast version of this. A breakfast version of that is something nice, plain and simple. We'll start down here with the fruit to replenish your glycogen stores. You wanna go with any one of these berries right here. You have raspberries, blackberries, pomegranates. If you like a little citrus, you could pop one of these in your mouth. It's a kumquat, great for high in vitamin C. I like the Siggy's yogurt. Why do you like that? It is from grass-fed cows. Okay. The milk is from grass-fed cows. It's organic. If there's a vanilla, it's Madagascar vanilla bean that it's made with. 15 grams of protein, three grams of carbs. Add that with there, you're there. You got your balance right I there. like that. And I like the fact that you're using some things that are mass produced but organic, right? Right, exactly. Okay, tell me, exactly. I can have some of these? That was my next thing. We could actually do the yogurt on top of here with a little bit of honey. Okay. For a little bit of a sweetener. This is going to give you your protein in here, your fiber, and you can also throw a little bit of berries on the top too I for like some it. sweetness. It's you going actually to have bread workout guys? Sprouted. This is sprouted be, uh, bread made from legumes. It is actually a complete protein, which means it has all nine essential amino acids in there. It's spelt, it is, uh, it's lentils, and a whole bunch uh, millet and, and three other uh, grains in there. One. This is a complete protein, nine grams, but it actually has 18, I'm sorry, nine all essential amino acids. This actually has 18 amino acids there, but nine essential give you one complete protein is what people miss in their diets in the morning. I love it. As we're wrapping it up, you're not a soy guy. You say no to soy milk. I'm not no a soy, soy guy milk. at all. No, no soy milk, you no. You want drinking the real thing? Yes, organic whole milk. There's a calcium deficiency in this country. Glass of whole milk, cocoa powder antioxidants from the cocoa powder and the milk, shake it up in the morning, complete protein, balance of fat, the lactose from the sugar is going to help transport the antioxidants, great protein. That's like a shake right. kind of a thing? Yeah, it's just, it's just cocoa powder. Hershey, cocoa powder Hershey's with upgrade this. It. So Hershey's like, powder upgrade it. It's so it's is. like a chocolate milk? Basically, yeah. I like milk. this. That's the right. workout drink you could have. High five, buddy. Yeah, I'm sure. liking this. So all morning long, we're going to get ideas, newer ideas, no quinoa. Sky no quinoa. No hour in moderation. Cardio. Quinoa in moderation. But I love quinoa. Okay, moderation. You cup. can have quinoa, but not okay. a whole cup. It's how many calories a 880 cup? 880 for one cup of quinoa. That's if you don't add anything to it. Wow. It's okay. been blown up. I know this portion. dude. He's I'll really good. <laughs> I'll step away from the quinoa. So it's not just about working out. It's also about what you eat. That's very important. So this guy, Michael, I know him. He's a chef and a trainer. A chef trainer. He, he, but he believes, you know, about 90% of fitness is mm -hmm. about what you eat, Jen. Yeah, he also wishes you'd get back on the wagon, right? We wish Mike Jarek would get back on the wagon. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for him to give me a call. Oh, yeah. I'm on a wagon. Yeah. I'll drop him off on his favorite. Call him, Mike. Okay, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about this. We only have two minutes, so we have to All go right, quicker go than quick. we thought. Um, these oils, you say this can be a game changer. Definitely. So which ones do we go with? You want to go with the olive oil, you want to go with grapeseed oil. You do not, you want to throw out your canola oil, get rid of it. What that's going to do, it's going to bind your protein, carbohydrates to minerals. Those minerals are not a good absorbing in your bloodstream. So as healthy as you're going to cook, you're going to wrap it up in canola oil. You might as well just forget about the nutrition. So you're going to get rid of canola oil. What is this thing? This is you choy. This is like a less mild broccoli rob, less bitter broccoli okay. rob. I'm sorry. More the mild. highest, more mild. Yes. It's the highest uh, quality of antioxidants out of all your Asian vegetables. It's basically bok choy on steroids. Okay. You say, uh, forget about the kale. Forget excitement. about the kale. Let's go with arugula. It's a mustard green. It's very high in dietary nitrates. Anything that's high in dietary nitrates is actually going to help you if you're an athlete, help consume your oxygen better, and it's going to bring your, your levels up. You're going to consume less oxygen and a better Feel less winded and, and when I'm working out because level. I'm eating this. You say um, you like feta, but you want sheep's feta. You want sheep cheese feta, which is French, and also pecorino, which is a sheep cheese, uh, sheep fed, sheep's milk diet. 
It is very high in alpha-lipoic acid. It's going to help lower cholesterol in moderation. You're going to grate this over your pasta, real thin slice of this over your salad for a garnish. Get your alpha-lipoic acid, healthy heart. 30 seconds, what's the most important for the rest of the things that we have? Ginger and honey. Where's the honey at? Ginger okay. and honey, you want to lower cholesterol as long as you don't have any blood sugar problems. Tablespoon of honey, teaspoon of uh, uh, ginger, and a little bit of cinnamon is going to help bring your cholesterol down. 20, about 20 points in 40 days. I'm just shaving it into my tea? You're just going to shave it. You're actually going to break this down and boil it and chop it into the tea. Add a teaspoon of the cinnamon, a teaspoon of the honey, drink it. And also you can add some turmeric if you want. Turmeric? Turmeric. Turmeric? Turmeric. What does it taste Tea like? Turmeric is a little earthy tasting. Yeah. But when you combine it with these three, it's going to mellow it it's out. Kinda... Also red rice, black rice, high in anthocyanin properties. This is called a um, emperor's rice or a forbidden rice. That's also a dragon rice. You could find it anywhere. It's a little more expensive than your regular rice, but not nothing through the roof. I love it. Okay, so coming up at 9 o'clock, guys, this is what we're going to do. He's actually going to cook this stuff. I hope. Who knows time. what the heck you're supposed to do with this food once yeah. you get it? So you're going to show us how to do some... I'm going to try. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Jen, uh, eat some quinoa. We'll get this together. <laughs> okay, we're going to not eat any quinoa. Good morning once again, Good Chef. Good morning. And we've been talking about this all morning. Five weeks to go to Memorial Day. Food is more critical than exercise, although you need both to Absolutely. feel a little bit better. Unique food pairing. So this is chicken on top of what? That's a braised skinless chicken teriyaki. I make my own teriyaki sauce, and it's done over a broccoli slaw with three ingredients, rice wine vinegar, honey, and Dijon mustard. Whisk that together, you're good to go. I love it. Okay, and this is a unique salad again. You like arugula. We went the arugula. Again, you have the feta cheese with the high antioxidant properties, uh, alpha lipoic acid, and it's done with a blackberry apple cider vinaigrette. Okay, this right here are those freaky greens. This is the yu choy, and I just threw some cannellini beans in there. I pureed down some sweet potato, add a little bit of stock, and braised them in there and steamed them right in the sweet potato stock. Yummy! Okay, so then you're going to make some fancy pants things so I can impress the outlaws. All right, let's get to this first the okay. pomegranates. We do a pomegranate granito on the bottom. No one knows what to do with a pomegranate. Pomegranate, yeah. cut it in half, hold it over your hand, over a bowl, oh, come it comes seeds. right out? That's it. That's all okay. you need to do. Love Two that. seconds. So now, this pomegranate granita, we're going to put on the bottom, pomegranate juice, okay. orange zest, and a little bit of lime zest. We're and gonna, so you put it in the freezer and you keep checking on it? And you keep checking on it. Every 20 minutes, you want to scrape it down with a fork. All right. Right in here, I have some lime juice, and I'm going to put in there scallop to let that marinate. Just and you're going to do this. Stuff I could get at the grocery store scallop. Yep. Okay. Stuff you get at the grocery store. There's already some salt in there. I'm going to add in some red onion, and here are your kumquats, and with these pickled, I'm sorry, with these English cucumber. Yeah, see this cucumber? We're going cucumber. to go right over the top of the granita, because you got to keep your ceviche cold. Okay. Now, this should marinate in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes or so. This looks pretty. Put this here. It's a light appetizer if you're having a dinner party. Yep. A lot of and it's really going to impress your guests. Twitter have been asking for the recipes. This one in particular, we're going to put on myfoxphilly.com. So again, it's a, I don't want to say raw. Is it a raw scallop? It's going to cook. The citrus, from, the acid from the lime juice and the, and the salt is actually going to cook it within 20 minutes. You want to make sure you cut it down real thin and it's going to marinate a lot quicker. This right here, mango nectar, just a touch over the top to cure out that bitterness. Mangoes have no effect on blood sugar levels. I love it. All right, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank I'll you. I'll high five you, even with your stuff. It's high five day. <laughs> How ridiculously awesome. This is way Man, better than rice cakes. Ooh, it's good I stuff. would agree. I would agree.